What's good guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at part 3 of our how to build an offense in Madden 22 and today we're talking about uh, part 3 of our gun doubles uh, uh, week scheme out of the Detroit Lions playbook and we're going to be talking specifically today about how I like to beat 30 yard clouds and what I, my, my primary zone beater, whenever you're putting an offense together, you have to have a man beater, you have to have a zone beater, um, at least it's a core kind of philosophy. You do have a base play that kind of beats a little bit of everything, but in my opinion, this year's game, the way that the game plays, I think it's really important that you do have a zone beater, a man beater, all in your disposal. And so today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite concepts for being zone, and that is the white cross concept. Now the white cross concept, uh, just so you know, is a, in my opinion, it's an air raid staple. Um, it's a concept that essentially what it's going to boil down to is we are going to have a deep crossing route that is going to ideally get over every zone drop in the game. And then we're going to kind of build around that and have some check downs. You can do this out of several different formations. Um, I've done it, talked about it before from the trips tied in verticals play or uh, verticals play for sure. And also the PA counter go concepts. Um, the other thing that you can do this from is things like uh, you can do it from verticals. You can do it from uh, gun bunch verticals. You can do it from uh, spread two by two, the actual Y cross concept. But the bottom line is um, this is our primary way uh, to attack 30, 30 yard clouds in this offense. So gun doubles week. Remember from the last video that we like to run this flipped and we're going to show you not only how it can beat man because in every zone beater you do want to have some routes that beat man just personal opinion um so it does beat man but it doesn't it's not like a definite this is a play that we're designing cooking up because we know they're running a lot of man this on the rather hand would be a play that this could even be a base play but it's also really a specific play that we're going to call because we want to kind of attack vertically and but also have some pretty good concepts for zone so we actually use the play double post for this um, and we're going to kind of manually create the Y cross out of the out of the concept. So the play double post. So ideally what we want is we want our um, the ball to be on the left hash when we're calling this play. Can you call it on the other? Yes, but it's much better with your twins to the wide side of the field. And then basically um, what I like to do here is I'm going to block my tight end. I'm going to fade or streak Scotty Miller. It's up to you which one you want to do, the outside guy on the left. I'm going to take the circle receiver, Mike Evans, and he's going to be on a smart routed in. And then with your running back, you feel free to leave him on this little blue route if you want to. I personally like to just put him on the out. So you see here, this is the core concept. And we're going to look quick. If we can take this flat, we're going to take it every single time. Um, that flat is a really good flat route. Um, the out route, we know that that beats man, beats zone. Um, it's going to be consistent for us. But what's really good about this play is, of course, the deep crossing route. We want them to have to use her, the deep crossing route. So in this play, you'll see they're going to have to carry this because once he crosses the safety pass lead left, you'll see that this double post route is really good. And it gets to about the 40, 35 yard line. Now I've put my cloud flats on 30 yards here, so you're going to be able to see what it's like um, and how this can be able to beat a 30 yard cloud flat. So you see here, my play art is glitched, but as you can see, I'm going to set this up. And then again, we're just putting the, you could put a, you don't have to put him on an out. Um, you could put him on really anything. He's your check down player. So if you wanted to put him on a five yard in, sure. If you want to put him on a curl, sure. If you want to put him on a comeback, sure. So you could kind of have some flexibility with what you do on the backside guy. The big route is this crossing route and then pairing it with this um, you know, clear out route on the left. So anyways, here it is again. And what you'll see is pass lead that right over the 30 yard cloud. And as you can see, he's gonna keep running and he's gonna run over there. And one of the things I do wanna highlight that you should be a little bit careful with, this is just coming from me running this concept a lot. Uh, this year this is probably my favorite way to read the defense this year um, it's my favorite way to have a vertical type of attack but anyways what you'll see here is if i don't throw the ball you'll see that he'll stop running right 
there. Okay, you see that right there? So when he gets to the inside of the numbers, that's where I want to throw it. I don't want to throw it when, you know, I don't want to risk throwing it when he might have stopped running. So I got to be a little careful. You want to test that. But what you'll see here is as long as I don't, as long as I throw the ball, like right about, right about there, you see he's going to get over the 30 yard cloud just fine. Okay. So that's something that you want to, you want to kind of, you know, whenever you're running an offense, you need to know stuff like this. Now, if I was to go to this other side, uh, just to just for illustration here, you're going to see that a little bit different of a thing because he's now on the on the um, he's on the the short side. So if he's on the short side, the problem with this route is it will stop running um, a little bit earlier. So as you can see here, see how he stops on the inside of the numbers as opposed to the outside of the numbers. And just for illustration, I'll move the ball so you can see it because we really do, um, for purpose of just the way the scheme works, I actually really like to run with my formation always on flipped. Uh, but anyways, let me show you. Let me show you this concept. So I'm just gonna block my tight end, streak this guy out route here, and circle. Okay. Now I want you to watch. You're gonna see here. This can still get over 30 yard clouds. You just need to throw it a lot earlier, and that's where it can get a little dicey because that deep half player might have, he just has a little bit better of a chance of having a shot to play it. So that's just something that you need to think about um, when you call this to the short side, or at least be equipped or be prepared to run, is that when you run this to the short side, he's you need to throw this ball right about here, and you see how he stops? If he stops, it can be very problematic, and you can throw interceptions. So that's just something that, you know, you any offense you run, you need to kind of be prepared and be aware of that. Now, if I were to actually put him on a hot route master crosser, let me show you something about the hot route master crosser to the short side of the field. The hot route master crosser to the short side of the field, another little pro tip here is that Godwin is just inside of the numbers. He's not outside of the numbers. And so because of his alignment, he's not... He can get over the 30 yard, as you see there, because the 30 yard cloud will kind of suck in and go guard the in route, but it's not like the perfect solution. My opinion, you just want to, in general, as a general concept, run this with your trips to the wide side of the field. Now, when we talk about beating zone coverage in Madden, I personally want to really uh, make a point to say, you want to have high-low uh, combinations. So. What we have in this is we have a high low to the right between our little five yard, or our running back out flat route and our route to circle. But then as the play develops, we're actually gonna end up with a high low on the left. We have our streak and our crosser. And then even more than that, we have our crosser that's gonna pull zones back. And this is why if you wanna run a five yard in, um, the five yard in, I'll show you what this looks like. It's not a bad idea you'll see here that he's gonna kind of end up all the way over here. Notice that the 30 yard cloud is gonna suck in. And as you can see, that's another way that you can attack this coverage. So everything in Madden comes back to, it's especially in zone, it is all about having high low reads for your quarterback so that the zone, uh, the zone takes this guy or that guy. Whenever you're playing a Mabel concept like this, this is where this, you know, in particularly, Something like a dig is really helpful or like a little ghost route that's gonna turn into an option route. You see how that kind of turns into a little hitch or a little, little man beater depending on what they're, the, what they're doing uh, from a defensive perspective. So those are just things that you wanna have kind of in your zone beater. You want to be able to of course beat every zone and the way that you beat every zone, my opinion, is you have a route that no zone can guard like Godwin um, because he can get over every zone drop and then you have, you know, your little check down reads like this that are real helpful for kind of holding the user underneath. And as you can see, if you make the right time of the throw, it's gonna be a very effective concept for you. I wanna thank you for watching this video. This is um, just a short series that I wanted to do just to talk a little bit more about schematics and some of the things that I do to go about building my offensive and defensive schemes that we put into our eBooks. If you would like to get access to all 28 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks, they're completely ready to go. All the updates are in there for you. I would really encourage you to join our Patreon membership. 
It's only $10 to sign up for that and it gets you access to all the ebooks at one time and all the updates that we do to the ebooks over time. So if you want to check that out, that's going to be linked in the description. And if you want to, if you want to go sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.